what's going on guys and girls in today's video i'll be going over 17 plus gpt ideas that you can take inspiration from create yourself and start making money online with ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're unfamiliar with what GPTs are, essentially they're apps that you can create on ChatGPT. So this is a completely new feature from OpenAI, but it allows you to create specific apps on ChatGPT for specific use cases. So for example, you can create a blog post GPT that will create blog posts for you. You could create a content humanizer that will humanize your content so that it sounds more human-like. You could create a tutor for a specific subject. And there's also a list of GPTs that's already been created by OpenAI. So the way that you'll be able to monetize GPTs once the marketplace becomes available is OpenAI will pay you a ref share depending on how popular your GPT is. So there's not a lot of information out right now as to how you can actually monetize, how much you're gonna get paid and what that actual monetary payment will look like. But this is gonna be a great way for the everyday individual to be able to monetize and make money directly through ChatGPT. And if you want to create a GPT, it's very easy to do so. You just hit create a GPT on ChatGPT and you can walk through the GPT builder, which allows you to create your own unique GPT for your own unique use case very quickly. Now, today's video is not going to be a tutorial on how to build your GPTs. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to a video that I've already created on how to create your own GPT. Let's go over some popular ideas for GPTs so that you can get your mind stirring and get your ideas brewing as to what GPT you can create and start monetizing once this market place becomes available so while doing some research for this video i came across a website called lingoblogs.com and it already has a list of popular uh, gpts and ideas for gpts that you can implement and create the first idea for gpts is creating gpt specific for coding purposes so you can create a gpt that will troubleshoot coding you can create a gpt that will help you turn your ideas into code or help you fix and audit any existing code that you have so as you can see here, there's a couple of GPTs already that, um, that have been created for this. So there's a idea to code GPT, which generates a full and complete Python code base after clarifying questions by following a structured section pattern. So let's say we wanted to create a snake game. As you can see here, we just enter that prompt and then the AI will ask us more questions to get more information and it'll walk us through the, the creation and the code that's needed for that specific thing that we're trying to create. So that's a really cool idea um, and something that you can create. You could also create an expert coder and helpful programming guide. So this can be just a general um, coding expert, which will allow you to get questions that you have for um, any coding work that you're doing, or you can also debug um, any code, or you can write a script, or you can write a function. So there's a couple of different use cases for this, but again, a pretty cool um, GPT in which you can create. Another interesting GPT is the UI to code. So the UI to code will turn your UI, which is going to be your user interface, into HTML or CSS with absolute precision and unsplash uh, placeholders. So all you have to do, I think you would have to upload your, your UI and then it will be able to turn that into code. So for example, you can upload a screenshot of your UI or UX design. And as you can see, it will walk you through the process of turning that UI into HTML, CSS, or code, which you can then build on your website. So this is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool GPT. Very, very useful if you're a UX designer or if you're creating a new software or website. Some other coding specific GPTs are Vue3GPT, 3.js, Unreal Engine 5 Helper. There's a code review assistant, so this will actually go and read through your code, DevOps, GPT, README generator, and so on. So as you can see, there's a lot of coding specific GPTs, but if you're a programmer or a developer and you know that there's a specific use case that people may want for when they're using ChatGPT, you can create that GPT. Another type of GPT which you can create can be SEO or digital marketing specific GPTs. So if we scroll down on this list, we will see that there is an SEO um, GPT. So this allows you to optimize your website for search engines. You can get general information, but you can also add in your own website. And as you can see here, it's connected to ai.seovendor.co. So what I'm assuming it's going to do is it's going to scrape this website, which is my website, and then it's going to give me recommendations specific for my website that I need to follow in order to improve my on-page or off-page SEO. So as you can see here, it's saying based on the SEO analysis of your website, here are some recommendations for improvement so you can optimize your page and titles, headings, and content optimization. While this is being completed, this displays a very important aspect of GPTs, and that is that GPTs now allow you to connect ChatGPT with other apps. So this is, I think, the real 
the real crux and the real importance of GPTs. It's not just only able to give you specific use cases using ChatGPT, you can also connect it with other APIs. So you can connect ChatGPT with Zapier, you can connect it with another API so that you can then combine for different use cases and combine ChatGPT with a different app to get a much better output. So for example, this SEO template is using ai.seovendor.co to then scrape websites so that you're actually able to get live and updated information specific for that website. I also came across a pretty good list of GPTs from Matt Wolfie. Another example of a really good SEO or online marketing um, GPT is this SEO Mentor GPT that was created. And I believe I got this from Matt Wolfie's YouTube channel. So shout out to him. So we just enter any prompt. And as you can see here, it will be able to give us information specific to SEO. That GPT isn't that great, but again, it gives you an idea as what you can do to create your own GPT. Another example of a good online marketing or SEO or content specific GPT is the humanizer. So the humanizer allows you to turn your text so that you're able to pass AI detectors. And I've actually went ahead and used this humanizer and it's pretty good. So all you have to do is enter the content that was created by AI and then the humanizer will turn that content into more human-like content. And if you run it through originality.ai or another AI detector, most likely you'll be able to pass um, those detectors so this is going to be a very useful template and again an idea that you can create within your own specific niche another pretty cool gpt that i came across is called the webflow wizard so the webflow wizard is your go-to gpt tool for webflow development streamlining your workflow with in-depth knowledge at your fingertips so that will be really good if you're working with webflow there's also a GPT maker within GPTs, which allow you to assist and make better GPTs. There's some GPT enhancers and GPT makers, which allow you to actually improve your GPTs when you're creating them. So you can use that um, in conjunction with the GPT builder to create much better GPTs that work better. And taking a look at the list that we got from Matt Wolfie, there's some pretty cool GPTs here. There's a Simpson, Simpsonize Me, which turns your image into a Simpsons character. There's a designer GPT, which allows you to create any website directly in ChatGPT. There's a convert anything, which allows you to convert images, audios, videos, PDFs, and more with ease. There's a logo maker, SEO mentor, which we went over earlier, edit GPT, which allows you to proofread, edit, and track changes to your content. There's a market analysis, sell me this pen, and there's actually a custom GPT, which allows you to search all the public GPTs in one. So if you want to find other GPTs, you can find the best custom GPTs. Um, by using this specific tool. So you just ha have to ask it to find me a GPT for whatever use case you have. And as you can see, it will use Bing to find that GPT for you. So that's a pretty neat GPT as well. And as you can see, you can enable Bing. So that allows you to then connect GPTs with the live web. So you can easily find any GPT in which you're looking for. As you can see, we asked it to find this GPT for Facebook ads. And we were able to find a meta ad strategist, um, which allows us to improve our ads when running ads on Facebook. So if you wanted to find any GPT that you're looking for, if you just want to get ideas for GPTs, just search it into this specific GPT. You can take a look at it. You can see where there's some shortcomings or things in which you can do to improve that GPT to make that GPT better. But this is a really exciting time because the marketplace really isn't established. So if you're able to create GPTs that are useful and people are using them, you can rise quickly to the top and then you can make some extra income by utilizing the ref share that ChatGPT will be giving out to popular GPTs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. I'll leave a link for both of the resources that I mentioned, the website and Matt Wolfie's um, Excel file that he uh, publicly shared. So I'll share that with you guys in the description below. If you did enjoy today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.